Okay, students. Now, the next sum we are going to start. Okay, it's related to same about holding period written and annualized written. But here the difference is about the dividend calculations. Okay, let's see. Now, Mrs. Deshmukh purchased 2000 shares of KP Energy at a rate of 20 rupees each. Okay, and the face value of that share is rupees 5 per share. And he pay, uh, she paid a brokerage of 2% on 1st, 1st, 2015. But when she bought shares, she bought that date. Then she bought that brokerage on that date. Pe pay karna padta. So the purchase date, when the day she has done the investment is 1st January 2015. Okay, and the company paid dividend at a rate of 50% each year. Every year, company is paying a dividend of 50%. Now, she sold all the shares at a rate of 25 per share on 31st December 2016. How many years investment hold her? See now, 1st January 2015 till 31st December 2015 is the first year. 1st January 2016 to 31st December 2016 is the second year. Means two years she has hold her investment. And she paid a brokerage when she sold the shares of rupees 1000. Now here the concept of brokerage differs. Here she had paid the brokerage they have given 2%. And here the brokerage is given as uh, 1000 rupees. Okay. So calculate her holding period return and annualized return. Okay. Now the purchase price is 2000 into 20. That is 40,000. Okay. You can see 2000 shares 20. And the brokerage of 2% she paid. Okay. So that is 800. 40,000 by 2% calculate her. It becomes 800. Now her beginning price at the beginning will become 40,800. This is very simple calculation. Now dividend calculation is somewhat. They said that 50% each year they paid dividend. So dividend is always paid on the face value. Okay, and they have mentioned the face value of the share is 5 per share. So, 50% of 5 rupees is nothing but 2.5 per share per year. Okay, 2.5 rupees per share per year. Now, Mrs. Deshmukh has 2.5 per share. So, total share is 2000 and she hold for how many years? For 2 years. So, she got a total dividend of rupees 10,000. Once again, I am repeating. See, she got... 50% of a face value as a dividend per share. Okay. And that is for how many period each year they said. Malab, the holding period is for 2 years. So, tono saal usko 50% mila hua hai dividend. So, 2.5 per share you got the calculation face value is rupees 5. So, 50% of 5 is 2.5 per share per year. Okay. So, 2.5 into 2000 is 5,000 rupees usko ek saal ka dividend mila. Uske paas 2 saal ka holding tha. Matlab, wapis multiply by 2 kiya. Matlab, 10,000 rupees usko dividend mila. Now, we have a selling price calculation. That is 2,000 into 25. She sold all her holding. Huh? Not partly she sold. She sold all her shares. That is whole 2,000 holding into 25. So, that is 50,000. Okay. Then, brokerage she paid here as a 1,000 rupees. Either brokerage percentage mein diya tha, toh humne upar wale jo uska purchasing price tha, uske upar brokerage pay kiya. Either lump sum 1000 rupees bola hai. We all know that while buying the investment, we add the brokerage and while selling the investment, we less or deduct the brokerage. So that is 50,000 minus 1000 is a 49,000. So how we will calculate holding period return? Same formula, price at the end, that is 49,000. Minus price at the beginning that is 40,800 plus dividend. Here we have calculated 10,000 rupees as a dividend. Divide by price at the beginning 40,800 into 100. You have to calculate this minus this plus 10,000 divide by this into 100. You will get 44.607 that is 44.61 percentage as her total return. Okay. So in totality, that is how much period she hold that much return. Now we have to calculate annualized return. Malab, ek saal ka usko kitna return aaya? Simple hai, holding period return divide by number of years of holding investment. So two years she hold, so we will divide it by 44.61 divided by 2. She got, she got 
22.305 that is 22.31 percentage as her annualized return so she is a good investor right she go, she has took a risk and she got that much return okay so return is also wonderful they may ask you a question that is mrs deshmukh a good investor of course she is a good investor because she got a return more than a fd she got a return more than a mutual funds okay thank you